Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chum here and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Black Nuzlocke. As you guys can see today, once again, we are kicking off in Opelution City. And you guys can see in the top left hand corner, a very weird depiction of Iris. And that's who we have to talk to. But before we do that, let's do a quick team recap. Because it is Monday. And it's always good to kind of keep up with what's happening on the team. So, first of all, we have Mojo Jojo as Simi Sage. Rock and Sea Bomb, Power Whip, Air Lace, and Jump Kick. All the same as usual. Then, we have Yagami. Once again, the same as usual. Electro Ball, Thunder Wave, Cotton Spore, and Thunder Punch. Then, we have Starscream, our beautiful original fossil Pokemon. With a Wing Attack, Cross Poison that we got new, I believe, in the last episode. Fly and Confuse Race. So of course, having Cross Poison is great. We have that Poison Stab. Then, we have Sailor Moon, who's also running Cross Poison. Uh, but we also have Pursuit, Fake Out, Power Whip, and of course we're holding the Scope Lens to make our Cross Poison do the mad damage. And hopefully somewhere on the line we'll learn Night Slash as well. Uh, because of, of course Scope Lens increases crit, and Cross Poison and Night Slash are both high crit moves. Then moving on to our second last member, one of my favorites on the team right now. We have Crikey, Rockin' Crunch, Swagger, Jump Kick, and Dig. Jump Kick honestly there just for lols, it's really not going to be too useful. But I guess if we go up against normal types, it'll come in handy. And then finally, the newest member of, of our team, who we caught a mere two episodes ago, we have Juvia the Keldeo. And she's running Double Kick, Bubble Beam, Takedown, and Surf. And of course, holding the EXP session, she can get up levels, because she's level 29 while we have like level 37, 35, 37, 38, 36, and that's it. So she's quite a bit below, but she's Juvia, she'll catch up. Either way, without further ado, let's run up and talk to our good friend Iris. She's hopping like crazy. Just a little father. This is the this is the most trivial thing ever. This is it. At least he didn't drag me. Whoa, that's a really cool door. It like it like opens up from the center and then closes. That's really cool. I like that. I'll explain. What you're holding is the lightstone. Reshiram, who will likely awaken from the lightstone, and Zekrom, who is already awakened or already awake. Were once the same Pokemon. That single dragon Pokemon, along with the twin heroes, brought a new region into being, and people and Pokemon had happy lives. One day, however, the twin heroes, the older brother who sought the truth and the younger brother who sought ideals, began to argue about how to decide which one of them was right. The single dragon type Pokemon that had been with them all that time split its body into two. One sided with the older brother and one with the younger brother. In its pursuit of ideals, the Black Dragon type Pokemon sought to usher in a new and better world. Its name was Zekrom. And the other, the White Dragon type Pokemon, sought truth and to usher in a new world of good. Its name was Reshiram. Because the two of them were once the same entity, their battle raged endlessly, and neither one could be declared the winner. They simply exhausted themselves. The twin heroes proclaimed that there was no side that was right, and ceased the conflict. But, but... The two heroes' sons started the same the battle again, and and an instant later, Zekrom and Reshiram destroyed. What? Oh, destroyed Unova with lightning and fire. Right, I didn't realize that was in the end of the sentence. Then they disappeared. But but if people work with Pokemon in the right way, we didn't have to worry anymore about the world being destroyed. I mean, Zekrom and Reshiram worked hard for everyone and made a new region, so it, it should be alright, I think. True, Pokemon cannot speak. People may hurt Pokemon even more by imposing their selfish thoughts on them. But no matter what, Pokemon and people believe in each other, need each other, and will continue to live together. Yeah! So I'm never gonna forgive Team Plasma for trying to separate Pokemon and us. Sorry, we got a little off topic at the end. That is everything we know. Unfortunately, we don't know how to wake up the legendary Pokemon. I made a promise to Alder. You must win the gym badge from Opelousa City Gym. Chum, I'll be waiting for your challenge at the gym. Yo, are we ready for this? Are we ready for this? I don't think we are. So, because we don't feel ready, we're going to run away. And we're going to try and see if we can clear this route over here first. Because if we can, then we can get levels and then we'll be good. And maybe we'll do a... We're not ready for this gym. If I walk in there, we die. Like, we actually get obliterated. What's up here? Is there people up here that I can battle? Route 10. This is new, right? This has to be new. Let's set, let's set the map. Let's up. Double check with the map. Because I don't want to be wrong. 
And I'm pretty ignorant when it comes to stuff like this. Yeah, we definitely haven't been here before. Let's do it. Let's battle the train first. See what let's kind of see what kind of levels we're dealing with first. There was no end to mastering Pokemon battle. That is correct. There is no end. You can always get better. Rocker Jimmy. Just bring that. Quite, yo, I have a Crobat too. It's like, oh no. <laughs> oh no, we have the bad lead. Let's go into Yagami. Honestly, the only option right now. Um, anyway, while we're kind of just having a chill time battling, I want to talk to you guys about something. So, as I said in some ep video last week, I was planning on doing a live stream of Battle Spot or Wiper Battles. What, what the hell was that move? Was that acrobatics? I don't know. Not important. Not important. Can we not? Can we... Can we just... I'm going to start Thunder Punching anyway. Uh, but yeah. I was saying that I wanted to start doing... I wanted to start the live stream, right? But, sadly, um, a lot of things came in the way. Literally, life just got in the way. And I wasn't able to stream this weekend. But... Um, I'm going to have an announcement video, like a channel update video coming out a little bit later, where I talk a bit more about the streams and another series that's coming back, so I just kind of want to tease that. But, hopefully this week we should be starting the streams and just, I want to I wanna kind of address a couple of things in that video. And one of them is actually the fact that for the first time in I don't know how many months, we had a week that had videos from every day through Monday to, fr from Monday through Friday, which... To me, it's quite the achievement because it's been such a long time. We've been out of our groove for far too long. Now, I kind of want to stay in with Yagami, but I do want to switch out just because I don't want him to get killed. So, we're going to Salem. It's just a Star Ravia, so it shouldn't have close combat like Star Raptor can learn. And we should be fine on that aspect. But yeah, we've been out of our groove for a very long time. But last week, like I said, we finally had videos every single day of the week. We had um, Pokemon Black on Monday, then we had Battle Spot on Tuesday, Pokemon Black again on Wednesday. Battle spot again on Tuesday, and then finally, Pokemon Black on Friday. So I'm really happy about that. Of course, the content variety isn't that huge, but like I said, I'm going to be talking about a bunch of other things, which also includes series coming back, which to me is the most exciting part. I'm very excited to bring back some a few series, and I guess I'll kind of tease it right now. One of them involves um, the Wii U and the Nintendo Switch, both. If you guys can figure out what that means, then kudos to you. If you can't, I don't blame you. That's very that's very um, cryptic, but I'm very excited to play that game again. Again, th that's another teaser right there. I've played the game before, and it's coming to Switch. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. If you do know what game I'm talking about, spoil it in the comment section below. Can we stop whirlwinding me? That's not funny anymore. And why, dude? I'm telling you, whirlwind is such a horrendous move because it it literally only picks the Pokemon that I do not want to come in. It's like, can we not? Whirlwind? Show me Mojo Jojo once again. Oh, you're fine. I'm just gonna go for a crunch and end the thing's career. Take down? Good joke. Wow, they did way too much damage. But so did my attack. What item are you holding, Crikey? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, like, crazy important. Juvia gained so much experience and everyone gained nothing. Alright, we gotta heal up because that person definitely put the work in. Um, also, I, I spent a lot of my in-game money. Uh, I now have like less than ten thousand dollars of in-game money because I spent like all of it because I'm absolutely insane. But I mean, like like, like I said, I'd, I'd rather be poor and and lose a lock than be rich and lose the lock because I didn't have enough items, obviously. If I'm going to be more specific, anyway, let's get ready to catch Pokemon. So what we're going to do is we're going to chuck Yagami in front, oh, and then we'll get ready to paralyze whatever the hell we run into. You know, Route 10 encounter, what's it gonna be? I'm gonna close my eyes, I'm gonna listen. Doesn't sound very powerful. Well, I can't paralyze. Wait, can I paralyze you? We're not gonna find out. Thunder Punch. I'm just gonna speed this up, I don't really care about this damn Emolga. Yo, I had, I had an Emolga in a previous Let's Play. And I just can't remember its name. All I know- Oh, it's Batman! I remember now. Never forget. Batman made the ultimate sacrifice. I'll remember that and I will never forget. Batman made the ultimate sacrifice. I don't remember what for. All I know it was a noble sacrifice and I'll never forget. The sacrifice happened, not what it was for. We can go back and check. I think it was in Pokemon X? Sounds about right. Anyway, we're going to call this thing Batman in uh, memory of the original Batman. 
We have Emolga, the Sky Squirrel Pokemon. The energy made in its cheeks electric in its cheeks electric pouches is stored inside its membrane and released while it's gliding. So many electric cheek Pokemon. I need to just stop it. The trend the trend kind of died with Pikachu. Anyway, let's go. Batman. Because Batman glides. Batman has black ears and a lot of other black parts, but this thing it doesn't have that much black. But still. And um. Batman uses electricity to stun his enemies instead of killing them. So, I mean, literally, Amolga is Batman. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's a perfect nickname. Also, let's talk to these things, because I know they're not... Oh, I, I didn't want to... I didn't want him a champ. I, I, that was... This is the, literally my least favorite Pokemon in the history of Pokemon. I never would have wanted him a champ. Why am I Thunder Waving it? Because Electro Ball will one-shot after this. Vital Throw. If Electro Ball doesn't one-shot, I die. So, we're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna... We're just gonna get out of here, and we're gonna go into Star Scream because we resist everything. We four times resist his stab. I don't know about everything. Let's go, Star Scream. Get wrecked. Let's go for the fly. Let's scout and hit him hard next turn. Let's see what's he gonna go for. I'm gonna go for it. I literally missed his move because I sneezed. I literally missed his move because I sneezed. It didn't matter because he's dead. It's fine. Speaking of fine things, I kind I kind of want to put, um, what do you call it? I kind of want to put Croc Rock out front so we can get mad experience. So we're gonna do that real quick. We're gonna do that real quick. Now, I'm thinking, right? Some of these things aren't gonna be items. They're gonna be bloody Fungus or Amoongus, one of the two. So, if this thing is randomized, I might catch it. Let's see what it's gonna be. It's not randomized, so we're gonna catch it. That, 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 that end of story. End of story. Crunch? One shot? No? I, I have no words. What just occurred then? Zero words. You think I ain't gonna dodge anyway? Alright, we're getting out of this grass. So they made his Vex Ball 100% in Gen 5, apparently. That's cool. That's, cool. That's a cool story, man. Excellent story. Tell me, tell me, tell me again. We're gonna heal up. We're just gonna go for battles. Because like I said, we, we need to train. We need to get stronger. We need to get all kinds of powerful. Because right now, I don't, I don't want to walk into a gym and get obliterated. Plus, GV is gonna be a, a, one of our trump cards because she is a legendary. And I know, I know it's, it's technically a gender but I'm gonna call it she because it's named after a female in fairy tale. Um, but yeah. She's going to be a clutch card, so I don't want her to be too low level. And of course, with her having the XP share, she should uh, be able to kind of keep up to some extent. So may I say, I've survived a lot of fierce battles with my Pokemon. Don't think I will lose. I, do, I know you will lose, because if I don't, because if I lose, then the lock's over and I have, to, I have to think of a new series, which I don't want to do. Got the leader. Oh, well, Crikey's still out front. Even, oh, wait, no, I wanted him out front. I'm crazy. I was talking about training GP, but I don't Glasses. You know what I have, and you still stayed in. I mean, that's on you, dude. That's completely on you. Reading like no experience because Buddy Juvia has taken all of it. Retaliate. Is that a normal type move? It is. Goodbye. Wait, how much does it do? Yeah, I'm, no I'm never going to use takedown because it's a scary move. I, I know that retaliate's not that great because. It plays off the idea that your your teammate gets you know knocked out, which is the last thing I want. But I mean, sometimes we don't get to pick. And Mammoth Swine is here, which is probably the scariest thing we're gonna see all day. So we're gonna go into Juvia because we resist the Ice type, and I don't know. I believe in Juvia. We have we are super effective against it. Thirty nine. Surf, please just one shot Juvia. You're an amazing Pokemon. I know how powerful you are. Please just get get it out of here. And it's a mammoth swine, so it doesn't die ever. Juvia, please, Juvia, please, Juvia, please, you beautiful, beautiful, not really human being, but like horse unicorn thing. I don't even know what the hell Keldeo is. It, it looks like a unicorn. It has a horn, right? So it must be some kind of. Three thousand experience? What? That's insane. Go on, Emoji Jojo. Let him. 
rock out with the seed bomb. Because it should want you to do it. I don't think there's any way to do it. We need a power up to get killed. I'm going to try and stop the speeding up. I, I, like, sure, it, may, it makes things better when it goes a little bit faster, but I just want to kind of... I want to kind of slow down a little bit. I want to enjoy the lock while it lasts instead of speeding up everything. Because then, where's the fun in that? Right? Where is the fun in speeding up everything? Yo, that man just, like, doubled my amount of money in my bank because I have... What, what type of trainer is this? I swear I've never seen that play model before in my life. What are you? Oh. Okay, now I see. I kind of, I, I can, I can see what, what, what they're going for. I was very confused for a second. Do you think this thing's going to have a bug type move? I hope not, because we're going to stay in. Bug Buzz. What is Bug Buzz? No one uses that. Swords Dance! Good thing we stayed in. Because this should one-shot. I mean, it's a dark type move. I mean, I'm sure it's resistant because I'm stupid, but... No, that was neutral. That was neutral. Now, the thing is... Is this thing going to go for an attack? It's not. It's stupid. Screech. See, I told you. It's, it's stupid. Look at its face! See how far apart its eyes are? You'd think that would mean it has a big brain and the eyes kind of have to shift aside, but no, it's not. It's because the brain is so tiny and so fragile that it needs the eyes to be far away, otherwise, because, you know, that way it has a really, really, really thick skull to kind of protect that stupid little brain of its. And I know I'm talking trash about the Pokemon, but the train is the dumb one. Gastrodon. You came to the wrong... Oh, whoops. I pressed the wrong button. Well, now we're switching. You came to the wrong neighborhood, Gastrodon, because you're about to get sent to the Shadow Realm by my seed-bombing Mochi Jojo, who apparently plays Yu-Gi-Oh. Body Slam. I was expecting a water type move because that would be weak to it, but I guess not. Again, the, say again. Oh, no, see, look. This Pokemon also has its eyes pretty wide apart. Oh, also, is that a third eye on its head? I don't think it is. But I swear to you, that, look, that looks like a third eye. At least on that sprite. Well, Juvia is catching up. Wasn't she 29 at the beginning of the episode? That's crazy. Yagami! Let's go. Get in here. I, I could use Mojo Jojo, but I mean... I don't think Yagami got featured in at all in the last episode, so I kind of want I want I want this beautiful creature to flail its arms about and throw balls of electricity at Kinglers. Stomp, good joke. What should do 12 damage? Or 30, 20, 30, 30. That's just 30. That, that is 30. Static, you're dead. I love I love the static electro ball combo. It's so broken. There's no way you're living this, right? Yeah, good. I think Kingler has high defense anyway, not high special defense. We're so close. So close to the. I still can't believe that that bloody mammoth one gave us three thousand five hundred experience. That's insane. Part of me wants to go on. I, I should have gone for double battle grass. There's an item down there. I don't know. Don't ask me why I'm walking so slow. I'm just kind of. I'm kind of just scoping out the area. I don't know why my nose is so itchy, guys. I, I don't. I don't understand. It's like every time I sit down and record, there's just this massive itch on my face. And I can't, I can't calm it. Yo. This is the perfect opportunity for us to use the beautiful dig. Because we haven't used it in this episode. Bug bite, oh no. You have no idea how badly I want to just put the controller down and walk away right there. Because you know what's really bullshit is that First of all Bug Bite isn't a high crit move This person's literally got the luckiest Not only that, it's not stab So I can guarantee you it would not have killed If it wasn't for the fact that this stupid Stupid Pokemon Didn't have Sniper I guarantee you There were so many layers of the BS that happened here in order to kill my Crocorock. I'm so done. My second highest level Pokemon too. I think we were a few levels away. No. Remember the whole no speed up thing? Yeah, screw you. Absolute garbage Pokemon. You know that, like, I'm not gonna switch anyone else in because you can't kill me with your garbage moves. I hate this Pokemon. I remember I used to always think of Drapion as a really powerful Pokemon because any time I saw it in a lock, it was always so powerful. Well, not a lock, in, in, in a Let's Play or in, in the game. A Selgor. Good thing I can't switch out, hey. Because I don't want anyone to get toxic. You're, you're, just, you're, just, you're, not, you're not the one that I thought you were. 
I was going to say, if you hurt me, I would have to end your career. Would not have been fun for you. I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of this. Get out of my face, swimmer pansy. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. I'm telling you. I am telling you. I promise you right now. If it wasn't for bloody sniper, yeah, I would not have died. And, I can, and I'm, I'm sure that you guys are going to say, it. blah, 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 blah. The Pokemon doesn't even get sniper. Rah, rah, rah. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. It had Sniper. Whether or not it can get Sniper or not, it had Sniper. Because this is a randomizer. You can't tell me what po what abilities Pokemon have. Is it worth healing? Probably not. I'm going to heal up Juvie at least. Because I want to use her in battle. And we just lost a, uh, a Crutch card. I'm going to have to bring back... Uh... Now is the time, phone. I'm going to have to bring back Ember. Whatever you are, you're going to die. Oh, Lampin. Lampin. Oh my lord. Goodbye. Good. Great. Flame Burst. Great. Great. Imagine if I died. If I if that thing went for another attack because it somehow it sped me, like we speed tied, and it killed me, I would have just, I would have put the control down and walked away. Salem's so frail. Can we get a good move on Salem, please? Please, something. Like... Pursuit is just not good enough, and we have to heal up again. And I'm gonna do it because I know it's a him, hence the name Salem. But I'm gonna heal him up again because I I, I need I need to level 30, 35 is 36 now is not good enough. Hey, you wanna battle me? Good, I'm gonna kill you. No, last time I said that, last time I talked smack before the battle, I had the lost Pokemon. So let's calm down. What are the chances? Like realistically, what are the chances? Pretty, pretty, pretty insane. They can. I'm faster than you. Don't worry about it. I'm also, I'm also gonna use power Whip because I'm the boss. Flash. If I died to that. Oh no! Let's not do that. Yagami, that's our defense, defensiest Pokemon. Our defensiest Pokemon. Official, official edition to the uh, Oxford Dictionary right here. Crit me again, I dare you. Crit me again, I dare you. Ooh, look at that. You did nothing because you're a stupid Pokemon. Assurance. Let me assure you that's not going to do anything to me. Because it didn't. I'm, I'm getting absolute tilted, man. I I should just go back and get Ember right now. I should. Because I'm just wasting experience. And again, he's not really going to be battling that much anyway. What's next? Grumpig. That's perfect. We can go into Salem. We can go for a fake out. Do all damage. Yeah, that's the that, that's the crit I deserve. That's the crit I deserve. He should have done like 20 times more and killed him, but fine. I'll take what I can get. We're gonna hype potion because I'm crazy and I don't care about money or resources. It's gonna go for some stupid move because it's not asleep. And then we're gonna end his career with pursuit. Like three, two or three of them because you know it's not a good move. Two of them. Best. Wow. Okay. 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 Stop with the snore garbage. Oh, look, that time we didn't use snore. I actually, it actually listened to me. Un unparalleled. Unparalleled. Ampharos. Why is this person copying me in my Pokemon? Remember that, remember that ground type Pokemon I had? Yeah, wouldn't it be great if I still had it? I can't believe that asshole. That stupid, stupid little girl with her stupid blue pigtails. Yeah, that's right. I remember what you look like. I'm scarred. I can't forget now. Charge. How about you charge up in preparation for this? Mojo Jojo, man. I get that it looks like your friend Ampharos. I mean, uh, Yagami, but you need to, you need to focus up. I'm not going to stop. Thank you. Look, realistically, realistically, what are the chances that I miss two of those? It's like an 85% move, and it just always wants to miss? I don't understand. We're leaving. I'm, I'm done with it. Get off your stupid bike, you stupid cyclist. You're not even on a bike. Stop lying to the world. Get a damn bike. Stop running around with your bloody trench coat thinking you're so cool. We're leaving. What's it, What time is it? It's... I wouldn't say it's time to call it an episode, so we might go run around a bit more, but... Uh, that's so dumb. Oh, we'll just okay. We'll have a look at that team and try and figure out what, what we want to do, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes from there. Because I still don't think we're ready. 
I want at least level 40s. If the train is on that rattle level 40, I want at least level 40s as well. So we might grind before next episode, and we'll see how that goes. Oh, but right now, I'm... That's so dumb, man. I'm telling you, there were layers. There were too many layers that it was just complete garbage. Well, let's go put... Let's go put... Croc Croc. Literally into the bin. We'll take your item, too. Look at... Look at all of the power in this dead box right now. Oh my lord. If this thing evolved into into Crocodile and then it died, I would have lost it. I would have actually lost it. Look at this. Like, we have a bloody Scizor, Swamp Pet, Victini, almost a Crocodile. We have a Heatran! I'm done. I need to stop being terrible at this game. Please be level... <gasps> you beautiful, you beautiful creature. I was going to say, please be at least level 30. You're level 33. So you're, you're viable. I remember I remember leveling it up, but I wasn't sure how high I got it. Let's have a look at our team. Let's have a look at TMs, actually. Let's have a look at those, because those can be important. Let's see what we have. Giga Drain. No one can learn it. I know that for sure, because it's a dumbass move. Yep. Uh, power Whip. We already have a good amount of people who have Power Whip. We don't really need it anymore, but we'll see. I just spam B. Uh, I mean, that's kind of interesting. But I don't want everyone... Look, okay, you know, I want you to know Power Whip. We, what would you use it for, though? Other water types? I guess that's good, because you can resist water types and use Power Whip. But then again, we have Mojo Jojo. We have Mojo Jojo, so there's no point. No, oh, I've messed up. It's fine, we're not going to use Retaliate anyway, it doesn't matter. Power Whip. Okay, now... Whoops. What else? Garbage, garbage. Ooh, jump. Oh, yo, can Keldio learn this? This thing can learn it. Why? Okay, wait, what move do you have that I can get rid of for this move? Nothing! Man, if Keldo could learn Jump Kick, that would have been insane. That would have been absolutely amazing. Calm Mind? <laughs> the guy who uses physical attacks, great. Extra Sensory? Nobody! Ven Yawn. Yawn's decent. It's not good, but it's decent. It goes alright. Ah, oh, great. I'm never going to use Cotton Spore anyway. Might as well put some people to sleep. That, that works out. I'm happy with that. Now we can Paralyze and put Pokemon to sleep. That's kind of wild. Aerial Ace. Who else can learn Aerial Ace? You can. You're going to learn it because you don't have any good moves. You have only good moves. Great. Good game. I wouldn't say great moves, but only more viable moves and whoops, I need to stop pressing B and press A. There we go. And nothing else. Yo. Wait, these moves aren't randomized. What am I thinking? I'm trying to teach Fly to random Pokemon. It's never going to work. Okay. So I think we might actually call it an episode here. Probably not as long as the usual ones. I know I started actually recording a little bit late. So my time, by my time, it's like 31 minutes, but I'm sure it's like somewhere closer to 27, 28 for you guys. But... I think it's time to call an episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you want to see more episodes from this series, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I believe in next episode, we'll do a bit of a grinding montage. Then we'll take on the gym, and then we'll carry on and see if we can get Reshiram Awakened and have it and or whatever the hell it is randomized to join our party and put an end to the careers of all of the Team Plasma people. And then we'll have our fateful 1v1 with N and see how that goes. Either way... Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that uh, bell icon as well if you want to get notified so you can see when the new episode comes out as it comes out. And finally, I want to thank you all for watching. And until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.